Yo, what? Yeah, you read that right. Nikon is buying red digital cinema. This is wild. Um, I woke up this morning, I got on Instagram and Matt Johnson, shout out to him, he posted a post about it and I was like, this can't be real. Lo and behold it is and I found the press statement and so I'm gonna go ahead and read that and then I'll give you some thoughts. Um, but this is pretty wild. So the release, the press release statement that came out today, March 7th, 2024, it says Nikon to acquire US cinema camera manufacturer red.com LLC. And I'm just gonna kind of highlight some of the stuff here. It's pretty short. Um, feel free to go read it yourself. But um, it says Nikon Corporation hereby announces its entry into an agreement to acquire 100%, 100% of the outstanding membership interest of red.com LLC red whereby Red will become wholly owned subsidiary of Nikon. And then it continues to go on and say, subject to the satisfaction of certain closing conditions they're under. So I guess it's not a fully done deal, but I don't think they'd be putting out a press release if they weren't like completely confident that this is gonna go forward. They talk about Red a little bit, but then they end up saying that this agreement was reached as a result of the mutual desires of Nikon and Red, which is interesting, and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, it says, to meet the customer's needs and offer exceptional user experiences that exceed expectations. So just all the fancy, you know, we're gonna be so great at this. <laughs> and at the very end, it says that Nikon will leverage this acquisition. So this is talking about Nikon's side. Nikon will leverage this acquisition to expand the fast-growing professional digital cinema camera market, building on both companies' business foundations and networks. So this is very interesting. And I will just say that uh, Red was founded in 2005 and their current number of employees is about 220. So before I really get into my thoughts about all this, the reason that it's interesting that this is a mutual thing that they're doing and that they're putting that in there is because back in uh, May of 2022, Red filed a lawsuit against Nikon because they put out the version two firmware update for the Z9 and they introduced raw, compressed raw recording, right? With in-raw so you can shoot 8K in raw 12 bit up to 60 frames per second. It's pretty wild, right? But Nikon owns the patent on compressed raw, which isn't really fair. So Red files this lawsuit. And then in September of 2022, Nikon pushes back and says that, no, we're not gonna play your game, right? We don't think it's even lawful that you have the patent in the first place, right? Then you fast forward to April of 2023 and the lawsuit gets dismissed and it gets dismissed under rule 41, which usually means that it was a mutual dismissal. And at the time, my thought process was, Red's a newer company. They don't have a ton of employees. And like, maybe it was just them admitting that they weren't gonna be robust enough to actually take on a company the size of Nikon in a lawsuit battle. But now, <laughs> it might appear that this was actually what was going on, that a whole part of this was to go into this joint agreement. So. They don't really say anything else. I'm literally just recording this as soon as I kind of read all this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, this is pretty wild, but um, I'm obviously excited as a Nikon user. I don't know what this really means. I don't know if this means we're gonna see a Nikon dedicated cinema camera or could Red start making Z-mount native uh, cinema cameras? Um, or was this all just about compressed raw? <laughs> is this just so that Nikon can use it without any problems? Um, what does this mean for other companies when it comes to compressed raw? Because there's already been issues, mostly like recently with DJI trying to put raw stuff uh, like in the Ronin 4D and the same thing happened, like Red kind of came after them. So I have no idea what this means. Um, I think that's also mutually beneficial for Red because now they're gonna have Nikon's R&D. They're gonna have uh, their customer service and their production stuff. I mean, it's just, you think about the size of Nikon and how long they've been around. Everybody says they're down and out. Everybody says they're a dying company. Are you kidding me? You know how long they've been around? And they don't just make cameras. They make microscopes and all kinds of crazy stuff, right? So anyways, like I said, as a Nikon user, I'm really excited. I've been using Nikon since 2019. I know everybody calls them potato cameras, but what are they gonna say about it now? <laughs> I don't know. 
And Nikon definitely doesn't need RED to make great cameras, but this is definitely exciting. Um, the possibilities, what does this mean for the camera world in general? Um, anyways, love to hear your comments and thoughts on this. Um, I'll keep this updated, I suppose, or you know, if different things come out. But I just wanted to let people know because I don't know how well this information is gonna get out. Um, anyways, I hope this is ex as exciting for you guys as it is for me, um, as someone that loves using Nikon for photo and video. I'm um, really, really proud and excited with my decision to stick with the company, even though it's been great. I haven't had any complaints. Um, but yeah, we'll see where this goes. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, until the next one, see ya.